Hey guys, Pete from P2Sense.com, February 26, 2010, uh, currently 11.33 in the morning. Um, markets have uh, been following through nicely. Okay, we're up uh, 17 points now in the Dow, S&P is up 2 points, NASDAQ is up 3 points. Uh, we're looking very good following through, uh, all technical um, indicators are looking very good. You'll see I have the S&P 500, which we mostly follow, most traders, on a six-month chart. And you'll see everything looks good. Um, I'm going to pull it up a little closer. And you'll see the market has crossed the five-day, which is here. Okay, you see it was getting a little edgy there. We didn't know which way it was going to pivot, but we are starting to pivot forward, upward. Okay, so the market has passed the, uh, the five-day moving average, approaching the 50-day. So once it approaches the 50-day, I think we're going to get a little bit of momentum at 11.10 and then hopefully push it forward to 11.20. And like I told you guys yesterday, getting back into the upward trend, which is here. Okay, so uh, we need to see and watch what happens uh, with institutional traders at uh, 3, 3.30 p.m. That's when most of them, actually 3.45, 3.50, do most of their buying at that time. That's when you'll see uh, blocks of 100,000 uh, shares coming into the market and, and pointing the market in the direction they want to go. So um, let's see. I feel good about the market. I think we're going to go. I think uh, 1110, 1120 is realistic, and then obviously upward and onward to 1150. Okay, I got a new stock pick for you guys, which I've been watching, and I was waiting for it to pull up or pull back, uh, which is uh, ticker symbol FPL, which is FPL Group, which is an electrical company here in South Florida. I live on Miami Beach in South Florida, so I know how they operate, and they run a tight, tight ship. Okay, um, I've been through several hurricanes down here. And um, I've never lost more power uh, or more power. Uh, I've never lost power for more than uh, than a week, even during Andrew. I think it was a week, week and a half. Some of the, the smaller storms that we've had, which is um, if you want to compare to other storms in other states, have been much larger, uh, uh, a little bit smaller than Andrew, but very large. Um, but I've never lost power. And if I did lose power, it was for a few hours only. So, I mean, they maintain a, a tight grid. Um, they do. I mean, uh, collectibles are good. Um, I, um, they, they, uh, accounting is good. Fundamentals are good. Um, you know, earnings look good. I mean, the, the, the company runs a tight, tight ship. Um, I've heard good and, and bad stories, but obviously the, the, the good outpaces the bad stories. Um, you know, a lot of people complain that they were charging uh, a little bit more than other electrical companies, um, and that's why they got a little, um, they were trying to also raise rates as well, uh, but I think the state denied them, the uh, state of Florida. In addition, uh, I think this month or last month, no, I think it was this past month, I just got a credit for over $50 on my electrical bill, which I, I had no idea, and it was for fuel. So I'm very proud and very happy uh, with this company. Um, I've traded them before, but not too much. I think I'm going to be a long-term holder, and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, you'll see here, I want to pull this back. This is a six-month, but I want to pull it back to a two-year. And you'll see uh, FPL had uh, its troubles, just like every other company during the recession. And it recovered, but it started falling apart as well. But it is trying to recover and get itself, uh, you know, moving back on track as well. And you'll see it's kind of a jagged uh, chart and everything, and it has d different supports and everything. But if you see here, the yellow spots that I have here are what I consider to be a inverted head and shoulders in the process of being made. Um, and that's a technical basis, okay? If I pull this chart a little bit closer, you'll see it's been turning on a five-day, crossing the 21, and it is on an upward trend right now, okay? And obviously, this is the head I was just talking about, and this is a shoulder. As far as the fundamentals, fundamentals are strong. I'm buying this stock. I already put a, a stronger position uh, in it today because of the dividend. Dividend is $2, which is over 4% of the company. As I told you before, earnings look good. Fundamentals, balance sheet looks good. Income statement looks good. So I think this is a buy right here, right now, since it's pulling back uh, at 28 cents a point today. Um, I would look into it. I think this is a holder up to $56, $60, no problem. Okay, guys, Pete from Pete2Cents.com. Good luck and have a great weekend if I don't talk again. Thanks, guys.